A young woman's life taken. Her ex-boyfriend, the accused shooter, Ellie Claire Young, was killed over the weekend at Shelby Farms Park in Memphis. Her ex-boyfriend, Jackson Hopper, is behind bars tonight, accused with her murder. Action News 5's Bria Bolden was in Lauderdale County where loved ones and strangers came together to remember her. Hundreds of people, family, friends, and some people who didn't even know Ellie gathered here tonight at Cryfield Park on the tennis court where she played in high school. Ellie was a light um, in this world. That's what her name means, and so that's how I'm going to choose to remember her. Candles light the way through the pain for loved ones of Ellie Claire Young in the small town of Halls, Tennessee. Tonight was about coming back to a place where she was happy um, and where she shed light, um, even to her opponents, they were like, she's so nice, you know, and that's that's what's uh, a true character of who she was. Hall's high school assistant principal, Richard Dawson, Holly McMillan, and Cindy Ream remember her as a good, genuine, and gracious young woman with dreams of becoming a doctor. Ellie was smart as a whip and had a laugh you could not forget. You could hear her across the room, precious soul. 22-year-old Ellie was valedictorian of her graduating class and a new med student at UT Health Science Center in Memphis. She was determined to dedicate her life to helping others before hers came to a tragic end. You find strength in knowing um, when you, you reflect back on who she was, what she did, and uh, through lots of prayer. Reporting in Lauderdale County, Bria Bolden, Action News 5. Now, Hopper faces multiple charges in Shelby, Tipton, and Lauderdale counties. Investigators say he led police on a multi-county chase after the shooting at Shelby Farms Park. He was eventually arrested in Dyer County. The nature of his arrest also under investigation tonight after video of his arrest surfaced online. An internal affairs investigation into officer conduct for Lauderdale County Sheriff's Office deputies is ongoing. The Sheriff's Office also says three deputies were hurt in the arrest.